Hi, Pile One. Welcome to your reading today where we're going to be focusing on channeled love letters, Valentines from your person. So first of all, happy Valentine's Day. I hope that this is a peaceful day for you and very beautiful. And I have your Valentine that you have picked. It's a beautiful Valentine created by my friend Nonette from Flourish and Thrive. And you can find her information, her Instagram in the description box. And I have actually channeled for you a Valentine's Day message from your Valentine today. Also, you have picked some other items. You have picked this beautiful Rose Aura Quartz, which is beautiful. And I will put that in frame for you so you can see it. And you have picked the Hermit Tarot, which I love. So I will be channeling this reading today from the first person, from your person's point of view to do channeled Valentine's Day messages. So I will try not to do a, um, <laughs> um, a from my voice, from my point person, but I may have to at some point depending on what comes up. So I will get to your Hermit Oracle or Hermit Tarot pretty soon. First, I'm going to read the Valentine from your Valentine to you. So, okay. Dear Valentine, we are in separation now because I destroyed us. I split my energy because my nightmares attacked my peace. I have so much breakup trauma and it ruined us. I am so, so sorry. I am trying to have more integrity now. It was too hard to be vulnerable with you because I used to trust commitment and it broke me when it failed and I failed and then I broke us. You didn't deserve to be treated like that. I had to repress my emotions because it was too painful to be rejected. I didn't want to go deep. I pray that you are happy without me. I am sorry if I held you back. It's so hard to be friends with you. It will never be platonic for me. It's hard to see you because I'm heartbroken. Maybe one day. Be free, soulmate. So from this, I am getting the message that your person, it seems like they feel very regretful for what they did. It seems like they feel like they have hurt you deeply. And it does seem like that this is a pile where the two of you are in separation. So... I'm going to get some more channeled messages from your person. It seems like you probably haven't even been able to have maybe a Valentine's Day with your person that you love, but it seems like from what I'm seeing that they do really, really love you. And it seems like you have a very deep soulmate connection. So I'm going to continue now. If you feel like that this is your situation and this resonates with you, we're going to continue from this point channeling your person. If this did not resonate with you, you may want to pick another pile or another video. And if that does, then this is confirmation that this is for you. So I'm going to pull 10 hermit cards. I left because you told me to, my Valentine. I feel like you don't want me around. I feel like you know that you're better off without me. And I don't have enough self-esteem to continue with you because I feel like leaving you alone will bring you the most amount of peace and happiness. I am terrified of commitment. I am terrified of love. I am terrified of this connection. And even though it is very powerful and passionate and intense, I am very scared of this love. I do feel the same way as you. My feelings are mutual with you. And I feel all the same love and passion and intensity for you that you feel for me. But you already know this. You already know that I have intense feelings for you. You know that our feelings are mutual. And maybe you need a little more reassurance from me because I've left, because I've hurt you. 
Maybe you need to know that it wasn't all for nothing. Maybe you need to know that I still care. Maybe even after all this time, if we've been in separation for a while, but sometimes even a week can feel like years. And sometimes we need that reassurance. And I'm sorry that I have not been able to give it to you. There is a big part of me that still, of course, wants this with you, that still wants to be there with you. I do feel very passionate where I would like to have you. There is a big, big part of me that wants you to give in, that wants you to let me back in, into your heart, into your life. I'm also, we mirror each other. I feel the same way as you. I also wonder, do you still care? Do you still care about me after all this time? Do you still care about me after this, you know, breakup, after this separation, after separating from our connection? I do think about you all the time and I do want you all the time. I think about you. I think about this. I feel like it's like a ruminating thought in my head that won't go away. It even keeps me awake at night. I lie awake thinking about our future. I lie awake thinking about our past and thinking about what has happened between us. And I ruminate about my part in it, about how I hurt you and about how I wasn't able to be the person that you wanted me to be at the time. You are still my everything. I do still think about you. I wonder if you think the same way. I do feel that you are every part of me and I have so many memories about you. When I think about my future, it's hard to think about where I want to go in my life because I really focused on you being in my life. And now that you're not, I feel a little directionless and I feel a little lost. And because I can't process my emotions a lot and they're overwhelming, I keep space from you. The reason why I just want space is because when I'm around you, it triggers me so much, it scares me so much, and I have a lot of anxiety about this connection. I want space because I just want to have you, I want you all the time, and I know I can't have you, or I have walked away from this connection, and I feel like I don't know where to put all these emotions of wanting to have you. And so therefore, I just try to move on. I try to go about my day. I try to go about my life. I just try to figure out pieces that will give me joy or let me have meaning. And I feel a little stuck in this way because when I think about you, it is painful and I don't know how to exist with this. I know that if I were to walk backwards, if I were to be back with you, I know that you, my true love, would be in my life. And I know that in a way, there's a part of me that feels like you are waiting for me, that you are trying to be with me. And I feel like I even feel you sometimes wondering what I'm doing and waiting for me to come back and to fight for you and to return to this connection. I do feel patient knowing that maybe one day we will be able to reunite. I don't feel in a rush. I don't feel like I have to do it right now. I do feel that it's probably not the very end for us, but I might need some space right now, or I might think you want space right now. And it may be that we need to reunite later on down the road when we're both in a better mental head space. I do feel very, very strongly though, that you are a true love for me or that you are my true love. I feel like it's hard to move on because I don't know who else would be able to ever take your spot in that, in my heart. And that is difficult. This love is emotional, physical, and unconditional. And I do have faith that one day we may be able to cross paths again. I have been learning my lessons. I have been going through a great awakening. I have had some realizations and some epiphanies about you and about this connection. And I am undergoing a transformation, both spiritually, but more so psychologically. 
And I do feel that the part of me that is healing, the part of me that is changing, is the part of me that really wants to trust in love, that wants to trust in myself and my ability not to sabotage. I do trust you, but there's a part of me that feels like no matter how I can trust a person, that person may always walk away because of free will, because of their wants, and that is scary for me to put my heart out there, knowing that it could all just crumble and come down all at once. But I do feel that you are a one of the strongest soulmates that I have had so far in my life, and I do feel like we really have some unfinished business that I love, accept, and respect you unconditionally, even if my behavior was not a match to that. If I was with somebody else, or maybe if I even dated somebody after you, my relationship with them has ended. And so if I was connected to somebody, if I cheated on you, if I dated somebody after you, that connection is over. That is no longer going on. I already formulated an escape plan to leave this person behind. So this was not really where I wanted to spend my energy or my time. I don't feel like I'm even with them anymore. I do feel like you are my divine feminine energy or you are my divine person and I am grateful for you. So I am so grateful to you and to your love that you have given me in this connection and for everything you have done for me when we were together. I am releasing fear and worry because it is all about divine timing. So again, I do have patience feeling like we will cross paths one day, that we will have some divine timing when it comes to this connection. And so by taking space from you, it allows me to get rid of or soothe my anxiety, fears, and worries. Again, I am so grateful. I just, when I think about you, I may have said harsh words before, but again, I am also just so grateful for our connection. And that is really what leads me to my memories with you. And so I am grateful for your love and protection. I am grateful for you being my divine person. I'm aware that our connection was important and divine and inspired and magical. Also, I feel so much passion for you. You are sexually sexually alluring to me and I yearn for your touch. So if you're wondering if I'm still attracted to you sexually or I still think about you in a passionate way after separating, I do still feel that way for you. And so I do think about you still. I look for you everywhere. Sometimes when I'm going about my day, about my life, when I'm driving around town, if I'm going about my my day, I look for you. I wonder if I see you, if I'm driving through your city or if I am online and your page pops up or photos or I wonder if you will post something or I just find ways where I look for you in places where I feel like you have been before or where we've been together or where you could be. I do look around for you and I wonder if I see you because I know I messed up everything and I really don't think that you would take me back after this. I feel like you might think about me from time to time. You reflect on me as one of your biggest soulmates and you know that I messed everything up and that I could never come back. And you probably wonder how I am and if I still love you after all this time or after this time has passed since the separation, since I ruined it, but I know I messed up everything. I do wish that I could feel the way that I felt with you again there's a part of me that really would or that does dream about having that kind of love back in my day-to-day -day experience and in my life, but I don't know if I'll ever be able to recreate it, and I don't think that you would ever 
reconnect with me in the way that I wish. Even though I am still so attracted to you, if you've ever been curious, if you've wondered, I am definitely still attracted to you. That has not faded or gone away. And there is definitely still that allure. Because just being near you is intoxicating. So it's important to me that you know how much I still think about you so highly. I do feel that if I could give you permission to clear your energy and to release me, I would pray for you to do so because I want you to be happy. I want you to be able to feel like you can move on from me. I don't want you to put yourself on hold and never be able to have beautiful love in your life. You do deserve love and I don't want you to feel like you are paralyzed or on pause. So you are so lovable. The time has come to clear your energy. If I could give you any piece of advice or recommendation, I wouldn't want you to hold yourself back. Also, I feel like if you feel like what I did to you was similar to somebody in your family that has done this to you in the past, I hope that you're able to heal from my experience with you as well as experiences that you've had with other people that have done something similar to you like I did. And I apologize so deeply for doing to you what I feel like you may have gone through from others like me. And I do hope that you have a friendship support system for you to be able to rely on. One day, maybe, we'll be able to be friends, but it is difficult for me to be friends with you. And I want to help you. There is a big part of me that would like to be your friend. I feel a little conflicted about that because I, on one hand, want to be friends with you, but on the other hand, it's almost too hard for me to be friends with you because it's not platonic for me. And so it triggers me too much and it makes me feel bitter and it makes me feel jealous, even though I know that I messed up everything and that it's my fault. I know that doesn't always make logical sense, but sometimes we can feel duality inside of ourselves, and I do. I feel like we can come from different worlds, and I feel like the differences between us are very intense and difficult. I feel like they may have actually created some challenges in this connection. More so, it was my sabotaging. But I also feel like there were some big differences that came in between us. Even after all this time, something that I know for sure and that I reflect on very deeply is I'm very aware that nobody will love me like you do. Nobody, I feel like nobody will ever love me like you've loved me. And that has left a big impression on me. Because you understand me better than anybody else. It seems like you definitely have gotten closer to me than anyone. And I wish that I treated you like the queen that you are or like the king that you are. I do wish that I had treated you that way because you are that very special sovereign person in my life. And I wish that I did treat you like royalty. I know that you treated me like royalty. There is a part of me that feels ready to let my guard down with you. So at some point in time in the future, I may become brave enough to reach out and reconcile with you. But I do know that as of right now, my emotions are a roller coaster when I think about you. And so I may not be healed enough yet to reach out. I know that I should have been honest with my feelings. And I feel like part of it was my holding back my love for you in our separation time. I haven't told you while we've been separated that I still feel all this love for you. And I also feel like I should have been more honest about my feelings of anxiety and my triggers in our connection when we were going through it instead of just sabotaging it and avoiding and running away quickly. I don't think I really felt safe enough to be able to be vulnerable. And it wasn't you. It was more like, for me... I just wasn't ready.
I feel like even still, I feel a little unbalanced, a little skewed. I feel like I still have a hard time seeing through the illusions. And I feel like my judgment, even to this day, can feel a little clouded because I just still can't believe I did what I did. I feel like it's only you and it's always and only been you. And I feel so very fixated and a little obsessed and hypnotized. I feel very attached to you and the memory of you. And I feel like that's where we're the same, where you may also hold me to such a high esteem, or at least you used to, where you used to maybe even put me on a pedestal. I feel like we could be mirroring each other very intensely and very strongly in this connection. And we may still be mirroring each other and I feel like our feelings are shared and that it's again, it seems like it's still only you. I think that it's still very strong. I feel like if I were to reach out to you right now, that there would be a lot of tension between us that we would not really be able to resolve our issues and that we would still have a lot of stress. I feel like you would pick a fight with me or argue with me because of how I treated you badly in the past. And I feel like that turbulence would make me feel like I have anxiety in my stomach and this upset stomach and this stress would just be so triggering and I just don't know if I could handle that or go through that again. Because truly what I really want is I do want harmony in my life and I feel like by removing myself, it gives me this opportunity to try to start to heal, to try to start working through this stress. I feel like I just want peace and balance and friendship in my life and I don't know if you would be able to give me that because of what I did. And so because of that, I just kind of go through life pretending like I'm fine and I wear this mask, but I know that I'm not fine. I feel like that's me bluffing because with me being alone, with me being withdrawn in this solitary energy, it makes me feel lonely, this energy. And I do feel like for most of you out there that I'm single and it just seems like I am just kind of living life alone. And that is painful. Okay. But as a final message for you this Valentine's Day, and I hope that my being vulnerable and opening up here from my higher self, from my 5D self is helpful, even if it may feel emotionally wrought with pain. I do want to communicate to you the main message of how important you are to me and how much you have impacted me, even if I have hurt you. I try to remind myself to trust fate. This journey is so much bigger than just you and I, but I do feel like on a big level, I feel like we met each other for a reason. We went on this journey for a reason. And I feel like there is still a lot of passion that I feel for you, a lot of fate. I still feel like this unconditional love between the two of us. My love for you is unconditional. It will never change. There is maybe in time down the road that I do wish that I have the bravery to come back for you. I would like to be able to make you this promise, even maybe even with a wedding ring, that I can come back for you, but I don't want you to wait for me because it might take me a very, very, very long time for me to be able to get myself together and get my life together. Just know that I am still in love with you. I loved you from the moment I met you. And I still love you. And if I had the bravery and if I had the emotional strength to tell you this, this is something that I would definitely tell you. I just know that in finality, I should have handled you better. I know that I broke your fragile heart and I treated you badly and I'm so sorry. I hope you can forgive me one day and I wish you peace. So that is what I have for you, Pile One. 
I hope that this Valentine's Day message from your person has helped you. I hope it has given you some kind of validation and importance about how connected they do feel that your connection has been and still is. And I wish you well. If you feel like this was not your connection, again, you probably wouldn't be watching this deeply and you probably would have shut off by now, but I do wish you healing. It does seem like you went through quite an ordeal with your person. But if you do feel like this was not your pile, feel free to pick another pile or another video. And if you liked this, I'd love for you guys to like, comment, and subscribe. And again, if you like the cards and the Valentines that you see here, you can always contact my friend Nonette on her Instagram. So with that, I wish you well. I wish you a good Valentine's Day, and I will talk with you later. Bye. Hi Pile 2, welcome to your video today where I'm channeling for you love letters from your Valentine and channeled love messages for you from your person. So you have picked this gorgeous card from my friend Nonette. She is from Flourish and Thrive and she's created these beautiful cards. So today this is your Valentine. You have a card that says, I miss you and I love the swans. I feel like that's very strong soulmate energy. So that is very, very beautiful. Also, you have picked this quartz crystal with black tourmaline in it, which is lovely. So this is a very strong protective stone. And you guys have picked this deck. This is the Messages of Love Oracle cards. So you guys have picked this and I will start with this deck for you. And I'm going to channel this whole video from the first person. So, well, okay, I'll use this, but <laughs> I'm gonna read your Valentine first from your person. I've channeled a love letter in there for you. But we will use these messages of love cards. Interesting how this card came out first. I will start with this actually. It says unavailable. Your person is unavailable to give you the love that you deserve. So that may be or all that you deserve. So it seems like right now your person may be a little unavailable or on the unavailable side. So that could be a little bit of confirmation for you guys if you're going through that, that this is more of your pile. If you feel like your person has been very available and they've been very present with you, then this may not be your pile. You may pick another pile or another video. And I'm also going to read your channeled letter from your person. And that's going to be another sign for you to see if this is your pile or not. Ooh, oh, well, yes, of course. Of course they're unavailable. This connects to the letter, that's awesome. Okay, um, and I didn't plan that actually. I wrote these channeled letters a few days ago, so I forgot what are in each one, but this connects. Okay, dear Valentine, I want to take a risk with you. My schedule is opening up more and I want to spend more time with you. I've been working on myself. I'm so sorry that I haven't been able to commit. I wish for everything with you. You are in my dreams, literally and figuratively. I want you to listen to your heart. I hope that you will wait for me, but it's unfair of me to ask, so I won't ask you to wait. But my heart wishes anyway. I've been watching you on social media because your spirit is so attractive. I need to release my anxiety because we will unite in divine timing. I am trying to be patient and trust. I clearly see the truth of us. So that is your Valentine's Day channeled letter. If that resonates with you, then feel free to keep watching. You can always feel free to keep watching regardless. But I would say that this is how we're channeling it from this point on. And I'm going to channel from your person's point of view as much as possible. I may have to go to back to my own first person if I am um, gonna be talking about the logistics, but. So far, we will go this way. So, okay. Okay.
So the first card that I have for you is Obsession. Okay. I feel gripped by obsessive thoughts in this connection. I am very obsessed with you. And when I say the word obsession, I mean that I am very much focused on you. I am very hypnotized by you. I feel extremely attracted to you. You're really in my head. And I find myself always thinking about you throughout the day. And it's hard for me to redirect my focus on something else. I know that I have been unavailable lately and my schedule has been very challenging. I have been unable to give you all the love that you deserve. And because I have a lot of integrity, I don't want to disrespect you and keep you holding on to something where I'm not around. I have a lot of values and morals and I don't want to waste your time and I don't want you to keep holding on to something that doesn't give you as much love as you deserve if you have other opportunities. Um, that is why I have put a lot of boundaries in this connection so far and why my walls have been very high. Because we've had a lot of obstacles or I've had a lot of obstacles in my life and that has been challenging and preventing me from getting closer to you. I also feel like I have some unhealed wounds in my heart and in my soul and that's also blocking forward movement so because i have been unready i have been putting a lot of blocks and obstacles and it's been making me be very unavailable um i really would like to have more fun with you though i would love to have more time where we go on dates where we hang out where we have a good time i'd really love to laugh with you and to like goof off with you and enjoy you i really feel like we have a lot of fun together and I don't want to, you know, be so distant from you. Not only that, but part of the obsessive thoughts that I have is how much chemistry we have. And so obviously I know that we have that very passionate connection. So there's such an attraction and it's a very mutual attraction. And that's another reason why I really want to continue with you in a strong way. I do feel that this connection can turn into a love. So I feel like this is a new connection and I would really like to deepen the commitment with you. I would like to progress this connection forward. And I do feel like we could even recommit to the romantic love if we haven't been able to really establish that or if we need to recommit to each other, we can. I do feel like though that the feelings that I felt for you were very intense and right away. And I feel like that our love is one where we've had like a past life love. And my soul really remembers this intense connection with you. So when I met you, I felt this very strong romantic attraction to you right away. And that's another reason why my thoughts can get a little obsessive because it's like, I'm just trying to figure it out, I'm trying to figure out and understand and have clarity of like, why do I feel all this intensity when it comes to this connection with you? Because I feel like we don't know each other a lot, but I feel like that I do feel very connected to you anyway. So it surprises me and it confuses my logical mind why we are so connected and why we have so much passion. I really want to treat you very well. I feel like your heart is very fragile. And so I've been working on myself to really go through change and transformation to be able to, like a butterfly, be worthy of you and not hurt you like you've been hurt by other people in the past. I feel like I have been careless with you at times and I don't want to hurt you. I want to become better so that I treat you the way you deserve. It isn't what it seems. Not all that glitters is gold. And I'm very aware of my own self not always feeling like I have, you know, worked on myself enough to be a great partner. I feel like I'm hard on myself a lot of the time. And because of that, I feel some shame about who I am and about what I've done or things in my life that 
I feel um, not proud of. And I feel like I really want to let you in and see all sides of me. And I'm not sure if I'm ready to really let you see the parts of me that aren't perfect, the parts of me that aren't gold, the, the parts of me that are unmasked and, you know, a little bit, a little less lovable. And so I want to let you know that even though I've taken some time apart and I haven't been as available, that without you in my life, my world goes dark and I feel like life is just not as fun without you in it. I feel like I would love to have more of you and more of our togetherness in my life because you're what gives me that sparkle. You're what gives me that inspiration. I am definitely right now working on myself. I am trying my best and I'm trying to heal my inner wounds so that I can really show up for you in a way that is powerful, that is strong, and that I can really be worthy of you and deserve you. I want to let you know that even if we have known each other for a while, that I still have a crush on you after all this time. And if it's just the beginning, if we've just met recently within the last few months or, you know, this year, I want to let you know that I do still, you know, have a crush on you and that I can, this can deepen and this can deepen into a more beautiful connection. I feel like you sometimes make me feel like a teenager all over again. And this romance that I feel with you, I feel like it's like you bring out my childlike self and you make me really feel like a renewed vigor for life again. That is very cool. And I miss spending time with you. I feel like we haven't spent time together lately. I know that I don't trust easily. I think that's something that has been keeping us a little bit separated or a little bit apart. So I know that I don't trust easily and that is difficult because I have my walls up and I don't know how to let somebody in. I sometimes even need some extra space. I need to be alone right now in order to rebuild the trust. Not only so much in you, but more so in my own ability to make good choices, which does connect, of course, to us and to you. So I want to feel like I can make good choices moving forward. I do feel your presence every day, and I would like to spend more time together. I am sorry for leaving you hanging. I'm sorry for the times that I haven't been able to show up for you. The times where I knew you were messaging me and I didn't reply. The times where you wanted to get together on certain days and I wasn't able to be there for you. I'm sorry for not answering your messages when I felt like I had other commitments that came up that I needed to prioritize instead of you because actually I didn't even want to prioritize anything else besides you. I really wanted to spend more time with you you're always in my heart, even though I'm not in touch all the time. And even though I wish I could communicate with you more effectively and more frequently, I do think about you most of the time, most days. Again, I feel very obsessed with you sometimes, and it confuses me why I keep thinking about you, why I can't get my mind off of you. Sometimes you make me feel bad about myself, but I think that's just my own projection. I know that you don't criticize me or mean to criticize me, but sometimes, and I need to work on my self-esteem with this, but sometimes you do make me feel bad about myself when I think about maybe how I need to be a better person. Also, this is a specific message that doesn't apply to everyone, but I can't go against my family. And so sometimes I feel like, my family may have different opinions or different ideas of what they want for me or who I want, who they want me to be with in my life. And sometimes my family can be pretty invasive and I feel loyal to both of you. And sometimes I feel like I need to break out of my shell. But you are my royalty. That's how I want to treat you. You are my queen, my king, my sovereign. You are the person that's so extremely important to me. I really want to treat you so well because I also know deep down that we do have a very strong emotion between us that could be like a love depending on how long we've known each other or how long this has deepened. 
and I feel like nobody loves me like you do or nobody has like you've shown me a lot of your feelings a lot of your attraction for me and your connection and of course I still feel our soulmate bond and I feel like nobody really loves me the way you do you love me a lot and I want to be worthy of that love Also, this time together, I miss you. Do you? So I miss you when we're apart. I miss you when we don't spend time together. I really wish we could be in each other's lives in a deeper, stronger way. And sometimes I think because I take some time apart, I'm worried that actually maybe I've lost everything. Have I ruined things beyond repair? Have I taken so much time apart from you that I can't actually fix it? That I can't actually move forward with you? Again, I feel our soulmate bond very strongly. I feel our past life connection very strongly. I feel like I know you from some past life, from the past. I really wanna hold you. I really want to be more physical with you and spend more time with you and hold you and hug you and cuddle with you. But not just that, of course, I also want to be passionate with you. I want to be not platonic. So I definitely want to keep having sex with you or have sex with you or get more sexual with you. So I definitely want to because that's how I feel connected and how I feel bonded. And that's how I really give love. And I want to give you love that way. I feel like that's also how you receive love. But then I think, no, I can't do all those things. I can't go there with you. I have to hold myself back and have these blocks and obstacles and boundaries. And I also just keep thinking like, gosh, what are you thinking and feeling about me? Do you think and feel about me also? Is this a mutual thing? Am I on your mind like you're on mine? And I keep wondering, gosh, do you keep thinking about me? I regret how I treated you most of the time. I feel like I haven't been really able to show up for you the way that I really wanted to. I feel some remorse. I feel like if I have lost you or I have done things that have led to our separation or to being less time together, that I regret what I've done or how I've handled things or I second guess what I've done or how I've handled things. And I really wanna make start, you know, making more empowered choices right now. So I really want uh, to be able to make good choices when it comes to you, when it comes to us. I feel like this summer, I'm going to be able to really be more available or really be able to come through in a much stronger way. I feel like also I need to see the sunny side. I need to be more optimistic. I need to see the blessings in this connection and the silver lining. I also feel like that we're going to get a lot of clarity in the summertime. I feel like that's going to be a very, very interesting time period between us. And in the meantime, I feel like I need to journal all my thoughts. I am a writer or I like to write. And I know that with this, I need to journal my thoughts down and I need to communicate, you know, everything out. That's gonna help me process my emotions and my feelings. And so if you feel like I'm not communicating to you, it's because I'm probably journaling out what I would normally say to you, but writing it in a safe space where I don't have to feel so vulnerable or worry about offending you or hurting you in any way. I really would like to compromise. I feel like that we are on the same page in a lot of things. I would like to be flexible and I do understand where you're coming from. I would like there to be more equal give and take in this connection and I would like for there to be more rewards. So I would like to compromise here and I really would like to be able to give more to you because I've been holding back. I do feel stuck. So I feel a little trapped in my life, in my circumstances, and in my decisions. I feel like 
we may have a hard time breaking free from these illusions. I can't break out of this trapping energy that I feel in. I feel like I've painted myself into a corner. I am confident though that we'll be able to work it out. It just may, might take a little bit of time. So I know that we both have the tools and the skills to be able to make this happen. It might just be a waiting time or a matter of letting external situations kind of, kind of fix themselves. I have been feeling myself again, feeling a little bored. Without you, I feel like my life is a little dull and unfulfilling. So that is a little bit difficult for me. It's a little tricky. Um, and I do feel guilty for the things that I've done that I'm not proud of. But as in spite of all the guilt that I feel, I do want to let you know that, and I do have a little shame about some things, I want to let you know that no matter what, though, I do feel like cheating on you is not one of them. I feel like I've been faithful to you, though. I feel like I've kept my integrity to you, and I feel like I know that we also will find our way back to each other in divine timing. So this stuck energy is not going to last. I do feel like we're going to become more available to each other, and I'll be more available to you sooner or later. Right now, I need to focus on my healing. I don't know how to fix the pain in my heart, and I feel like I am very broken in many ways. But I am determined to make myself be a better person and to heal myself, and I'll never stop trying to do better. I am trying to be like a Leo in regards to self-love. I might even be a Leo, or you might be. I feel like I am trying to build up my confidence. I can sometimes be stubborn, I can be arrogant, and I can let my ego control me or control things. I want to be able to have self-love without being the negative side of being too selfish. And I'm still trying to find a little bit of a balance in that way. That's something I'm still trying to do. I do feel a little frozen. I know that I have pulled back. I may not give you all the words that I want to say or that you need. And I do feel that there may be a lot of stillness between us where things are very unspoken. And that might be because also a little bit in part of my pride. But ultimately, I really would like a new beginning with you. I would like a new direction. I would like a new fresh start with you. I would like to move forward with you and have another chance. I would like a better direction. I would like to nourish this connection. I would like for there to be more harmony. And I would like for this to feel more like nurturing and comforting between us. I would really like our connection to feel like a safe space. So that's important to me. And I'm sorry because I feel like my actions have not always been very clear. I feel sometimes like I've made a lot of mistakes and sometimes I even put myself in a victim mindset where I'm not the victim. I'm fully participatory in things, but I feel like a little lost sometimes. And I feel like I might have treated you in a way that wasn't really in alignment to how I wanted to treat you. But I feel like I was doing things that I felt like would be more strategic instead of how I truly, really wanted to love you. And I feel like I have a lot of things that I would like to confess and I would like to say to you. I feel like nothing too dark, but I do feel like that there, you know, what I really want to say is I really want to send you an unexpected message. I would like to unveil this truth and I might even find that it's safer for me to actually write about it or sing about it in songs than to tell you in person. That might be why I'm journaling. I might be actually writing poetry or songs about this connection. I also feel like this intensity, the sexual energy between us, the lust that I feel may be safer for me to write it out than to tell you. Or maybe I feel like we're not at a point yet where I can share this with you, even though I feel this passionate towards you. And then I do sometimes... I also still feel, again, kind of trapped and tied down and restricted. So I do want things to change in our lives so that we're more available for each other and that I'm more available for you. 
So that is what I have for you, pile two. I hope this has helped you. Again, if this isn't your pile, you probably have not watched up to this point, but if you feel like this wasn't your situation with your person, feel free to pick another pile or another video, or if you're just drawn to another one, feel free to watch so that you can get more messages. If you did like it, I'd love for you guys to like, comment, and subscribe. And again, if you wanted to see my friend Nonette's cards, you can always go to her Instagram information in the contact. Um, her contact information is in the description box. So I hope that this has helped you. I hope this has helped share a little light on your situation and gave you the validation that you are important to your person. And sometimes these channeled messages can help tell you things that your person may not feel comfortable sharing with you from their, you know, logical mind or from their protected sense of self. So I hope this has helped you and I hope you guys have a beautiful Valentine's Day. I'll talk to you later. Take care. Bye. Hi, Pile 3. Welcome to your reading today. I hope this helps you. Today, I'm going to be channeling your Valentine's Day love letter and channeled messages from your Valentine today or from your person, person you love or the person that you have in your heart. You have picked a few things today. You have picked this gorgeous Valentine that was created by my friend Nonette from Flourish and Thrive. Her information and Instagram is in the description box. So if you want to see more of her beautiful handmade cards, feel free to check her out. You also have picked this beautiful angel aura and I wanted to capture the light. It's just so beautiful. It's like, I love the rainbows in angel aura. So this is the crystal that you have picked today, which I will put in frame for you so you can see it. And you also have picked this um, twin flame soulmate deck which is very cool. This is by Liv Tarot. And this is the first deck that we will use to channel messages from your person. This will be from the first person's point of view. So I will be channeling as if I am them. And I also have written or channeled a Valentine for you, a special love letter from your person. This will help you in two ways. One, it will share with you what they're thinking and feeling for you right now and what they would like to say to you if they could, if they could send you a Valentine being totally honest. Also, it will help you feel if this is your pile. So the Valentine will be a confirmation if this is your situation. So if this is not your situation, feel free to pick another pile or even another video. But I will read this for you now as a Valentine's Day message. So if this feels like it's you, feel free to keep watching. You can always keep watching anyway. There may be some messages in here for you that resonate, but this is also designed to be confirmation to see if this is your person. So what I love in the beginning is it says, kiss me, be mine. I feel like your person really wants to make you theirs. They want to kiss you and they love physical touch as maybe one of their primary love languages. And they love the way you kiss, the way that you're theirs. They really like, I feel knowing and claiming you as their partner. Dear Valentine, you are so special to me. I know that things have been hard. We will have an outcome this spring and summertime that will make us so happy. I will give you more attention and love. I know there have been red flags, but I am mastering my spiritual lessons, so we will have romantic blessings. This winter, I have been left out in the cold, alone with only our memories. I miss you, and I won't take you for granted anymore. So that is a message from your person. So now let's get to some of your channeled messages from them. Again, I'm going to do it from the first person's point of view. I will shift back to myself if I have to, to clarify something, if it's confusing or if I have to, let's say switch, you know, deal with logistics. But as of now, I'm going to try to talk just from your person. So.
I feel like you are my very special partner. Sometimes I'm confused whether this is a twin flame connection or whether this is a karmic connection, but I know that deep down what I really want is a very strong commitment with you. I love holding hands with you and I really do wish that I could be in a very serious partnership with you. I do very much value and prize conventional relationships. Sometimes I feel like I am bound by social conventions or by society and by the duty and responsibilities that I have in my life that I must focus on first or do. But I really do prize you. I value you very highly. I am feeling your absence right now. I am feeling the loss of you in a very strong way. I am trying to process my grief and I am trying to process the sadness that I feel. I also feel like I might have gotten a little lost along the way and lost my sense of self and my identity. Right now, I am trying to discover who I am so that I could start to reinsert myself into this connection and really be more available to you emotionally. I am very afraid. I feel like we have gone through a tower moment where we've gone through a major change and an upheaval. My fear and my loss is a very powerful emotional hurdle that I am going through right now. Right now, I feel like I'm going through a lot of darkness, a lot of insecurity. I hesitate to become closer to you because I want to protect you from the chaos that I might create in my life or that I have created in my life. There is so much love that I feel for you. I really feel and I would like to be just so incredibly romantic with you. That is what makes me very, very happy. And that is what makes me feel connected to myself. I really revel in the flow between us. I want to savor every moment. You entice me with everything you do. I really want to open myself to romance. But first, I have to discover what my true self really is. And I feel like I have to go through a lot of self-discovery. I might be in denial about some things. And I think I have to face myself. Honestly, all I really want from you is union. All I truly want is partnership. I feel like partnership here and romance and union are things that I truly, truly desire in this connection. It frightens me and I'm so scared of loss, but I really, truly do want to bond with you in this way. Also, I know that I have been busy. I have been focusing on myself, perhaps to our detriment or that has strained our connection, but you are my eternal love. And I feel like I'm just waiting for the divine time to come so that we can reconcile. Because I would really truly like to be able to connect with you in this way. So reconciling with you, my partner, is something that I truly desire. I really feel that we can rise above challenges. I feel like we can rise above this heaviness that we have gone through. There have been a lot of drama between us. There have been a lot of obstacles. And I feel like maybe we've been a little petty to each other. But I know that we're better than that. And I know that we can find the strength to rise up out of this challenge. I feel like you are my soulmate. You are my best life partner, and I do feel like on so many levels, we are very compatible. I feel like that you are my true companion, and this bond that we have to each other is very powerful, very, very strong. And I feel like life can go through a series of sections or a series of cycles. And I feel like we've gone through a cycle that has been a little difficult. It has hit me like a bolt of lightning. And I feel like it almost, my emotions for you can sometimes even hit me like a tidal wave. So I feel like there, the emotions that this connection evokes in me is like a very powerful force. Please, please, please give me time. I've never felt this way before. I feel like I need some time to grow. I need some time to have more availability. I need time to pass for me to have clarity, for me to rediscover myself, to connect deeply to myself so that I can connect to you. 
Financial challenges are really coming in between us right now. They are affecting me in a big way, and I know it's affecting our connection. I know I haven't been very available to you, and again, that is why I would like to protect you from any struggle or drama or damage that has been going on in this connection. I would really, really like to fix it. And I know that there are so many obstacles between us, I would really like to work through that and work past it. My unhealed wounds are one of them. They're blocking forward movement right now at this time. That's why I've been wanting to keep you safe and I've wanted to guide you, but from maybe a little bit more of a distance. But for mostly the biggest reason and the biggest message I have for you is I really, really would like to have a second chance with you to get things right. I don't want to feel like I'm not able to be the person that I want to be when it comes to you. I haven't given up on us or this connection. I may just need a little bit of healing time because part of me has a very hard time facing myself and really discovering who I am because what I do is I'm very much in denial and I feel like I have to go very, very slowly to work through these pieces of myself, my shadows, that I don't like, that I can't accept. So part of me does stay in denial. And so I've had to basically detach a little bit so that I can see my truth with clarity and with love. And I know that you might feel like it's taking a long time. And that's why I've had to go slow. And that's why I feel like I really do need time because I can't rush this process. I really do have to, and I really want to feel like I can really make the right decisions for us and for our connection and also for me. But I do feel that my intuition is really guiding me towards you right now. And that's another reason why I feel like I have to hold myself back because I really want to make sure that there's like facts and evidence before leaping into something that could be very challenging. I don't know if I'm completely ready to take this leap of faith that I really want to take with you. Also, I feel like you might think some things and you might think that I am trying to be manipulative, but I want to let you know that you are wrong about that. I feel like you may have me painted differently. And because of that, I feel like I really do truly want you to know who I am. And I feel like you might have misjudged me or thought that one of my intentions were more manipulative than they were. I feel like if you have other options that I really want you to choose a life with me and you may feel like I want to make all the choices, but that's not true. I want us to co-create. I want us to both make the choices and not only do I want you to choose, but I hope that you will choose me and I'm not sure that you will. And so I hope that you choose and that you choose me. And maybe I feel like you're wrong because I feel like you're choosing somebody else instead. Or I'm worried that you will choose somebody else and you're choosing the wrong person if you choose somebody else. That's how I feel. That might not be the truth, but that's how I'm feeling because I want you to choose me. And I'm not sure if you will. I feel insecure about it because I know that I need more time. And there's a big part of me that wants you to wait for me. And then there's a part of me that doesn't want to hold you back. So I can't go fast. And I know that I might lose my chance with you because of the slowness that I have been going, because of the slow pace that I have been, unfortunately, doing. What I am ready for, there are some things I am ready for, and I do want to let you know that it's not that I'm completely out of this connection. I want to let you know that what I am ready for is I want, I do want to see you. I am in so much pain because I miss you so much. And so this pain of missing you that I'm going through right now is making me ready to do certain things because I want to get rid of this pain I don't want to miss you as much as I do. I want to have you in my life more frequently and more often, and I want to show up for you more. So therefore, I am open to compromise. However, it is also scary for me to talk to you or 
I'm too afraid to talk to you because I need more time. And I'm scared to tell you that I miss you. And uh, that's what I'm scared to tell you. So I'm too afraid to tell you that I miss you and that I'm in so much pain. But I want to compromise. I want to get more ready to open up to you. I want to become more available to you emotionally. I do want to let you know that these obstacles that we've been going through, these challenges and these struggles, I would like to overcome them. I feel like I might have done some snake-like behavior where maybe I've been sneaky or I have had bad vibes or I have betrayed you or maybe I have done or said something where I haven't really shown my total loyalty to you. I want to let you know that these bad vibes are clearing up. There is a rainbow after the storm for us. So these bad vibes, bad news, I feel like I want to, yeah, I want to clear it up. So I feel like there have been so many obstacles that have come in between us. And these obstacles are what I want to clear away. I don't want there to be any obstacles between us. I feel so much spark for you. I absolutely feel so attracted to you. Don't you know how I feel like you are like my little celebrity in a way? You're in the spotlight and my eyes are always on you, whether you know it or not, not in a freaky way, not in a stalker way, but in a way where you just captivate me. We have so much chemistry. We have so much passion. I want to renew the passion. And also I feel so much pride when I look at you being all beautiful in the spotlight. I feel so much pride knowing that you are mine or could be mine. I am just so happy about that. I feel like without you that I become this boring, workaholic, flaky person who can't keep promises. I feel like without you, my life is very empty and my heart is just very robotic where it just goes through the motions and I'm not attaching to anything. I have a boring routine without you and that I don't like. I become this workaholic where nobody really likes to be around me. I know I need to take time to make room for love. My work is overwhelming, but I would like to keep our connection alive. And as I'm a workaholic, it just makes me feel so bored with myself and it's very empty. And I may have looked at work through rose colored glasses, but what it does is it makes me not be able to keep the promise to myself and to you that I would like to. And I would like to see through this illusion because I know that this work has been really unbalanced and it's been throwing me off and I feel like it's definitely been an obstacle between us. So right now what I'm doing is I'm gaining a lot of wisdom and this wisdom is helping me be able to make choices. Right now I'm in my thoughts a lot. I am really thinking. Again, I'm really trying to take my time to make smart, wise choices and to be able to structure my life in a way that really lets me feel like I can be close to you and really lets me be able to do things the way I need to do them. I still look at your photos. I don't know if you know this. I still fantasize about being together with you. And when I look at your pictures, it really makes me feel connected to you in a big way. I've really been keeping my distance from you to also protect you from anything karmic in my life. That is very hard. I really admire your beauty both inside and out and your beautiful heart as well as your gorgeous face and your beautiful body is exactly my, totally my type. It's my absolute favorite.
I am going to communicate with you very soon because the separation, whether we're actually separated or whether I just have been a little bit out of touch, this is giving me the opportunity to both purge this negativity between us and to heal myself. I am absolutely taking action to reconcile with you in the 3D, so that's also very important to me. And I'm also trying to send you telepathic messages so that you know that I'm going to try to reach out to you soon. I'm trying to reassure your energy intuitively. A lot of karmic situations are happening to me in my life right now. And if I do have a third party situation, for those of you where I have a third party and you know about this, I feel like that everything is trying to fill up my life and it feels so empty and I don't like it at all. I used to believe that you and I were incompatible, but that's just because I was being rigid in my beliefs and I realize something differently now now that I've done some healing and now that I'm trying to look at myself and discover who it is that I really, really am. I should have listened to my heart when it came to you instead of what people were telling me or instead of what my negative thoughts were telling me. And it was hard for me to be able to see through my own mental blocks. I know I need to give you more and I need to balance more in this connection and I need to give more to you. I hate being with this karmic situation and I'm really working on manifesting the things that I can end these blocks that are coming between us. So I really, really don't like all this karma that I have been having to bear. So many things remind me of you. If you think you're the only one that's getting signs about our connection, I want to let you know that that's not true. I think of you all the time. I will wait for a sign from you to know that it's safe to approach you, to know that you're giving me the green light. And I regret lying to you or holding information from you or keeping things too private because I feel like that also has made things challenging for us. That has gotten in the way. You don't know how hard it was to let you go if I have had to let you go or even I've had to take some time away to figure some things out or the space that I've had to take or the unavailability that I have had has been very difficult. And I know that you may also need to heal too because of what I've maybe done or how I've treated you, or how I've not really been able to show up great in this connection, because I feel like that you maybe you're trying to find distractions from your pain, and I think sometimes maybe I was a distraction from your pain, and so maybe I did things that other people also did, and there needs to be a lot of healing. But really, all in all, I wish I had treated you better. I'm sorry that I haven't been able to treat you the way that I truly, truly wish that I could. I know that the way I treated you has destroyed your confidence in me. And I know that, that most of that is my fault I am sorry that I destroyed your confidence in me. I'm so mad at myself for behaving that way. I need to heal my anger at myself. That is very important towards letting me be able to reunite with you in the way that I want. So I do still keep track of you online. Again, I keep looking at your pictures and I still hope that you're doing well in between our times of talking and I do still think about you all the time I feel like sometimes maybe we are too different you know I used to think that we're incompatible I used to think that we had instability I used to think that maybe we didn't have enough security in this connection but I'm realizing now that why we disagree and why we fight is because of the way I've treated you 
I need some more time to figure this out and to be able to be more available to you. I do feel safer and safer opening up even if I'm still not completely ready. I feel like you've at least provided a safe space for me to be able to repair this and share with you what I've been thinking. I know that I have put up walls around me and that is something that really blocks our intimacy, both emotionally, physically, and friendship wise. But all in all, please don't lose hope for us. I do feel that we can really work this out and a lot of it is going to require change on my part and I would like to try to see how I can do that. So I hope you give me the opportunity to figure out how I can move forward with you and how I can really be more available. Again, I just keep thinking in my head over and over that I just need to wait, that time needs to pass, that I need more time to figure it out. I feel like I know you might feel that you've been waiting for like an infinity for me to get it together. And I'm sorry that I still feel like I still need more time. That is why I feel like sometimes I put distance between us because I feel like with distance, it gives me time to think, but I haven't been able to think my way out of this yet. I haven't been able to think a solution up to get me out of this problem. So I'm sorry for the barriers and the walls that I have put up. I am sorry for the space and the separation that has is between us. It can feel like one big, huge hole. But I am receptive to you and to this connection. I do feel like I really would like for us to be able to move forward. I am grateful to you for your open heart and your softness and your vulnerability. I'm receptive for you to be vulnerable to me. I just don't know if I'm very receptive to, or I don't know if I'm really brave enough to be vulnerable back in return. I'm getting more ready and I'm open to more, more and more things, but I just don't know when I'll feel brave enough because right now I feel like there's just so much that I'm just not ready to say. There's so much unspoken things between us, but just know that the things that I don't say, I regret it. I feel like these words are slipping through my hands like sand, and I know how disappointed you are in me. And I'm sorry that I've been concealing who I am and my myself. I feel like I keep so many secrets and I keep myself a mystery and I keep hiding and I apologize for that because to be honest, I know that I'm actually highly loyal to you and I really would like for us to break through this. I am very dedicated to rebuilding the trust and to let us be or to prove to you that I, can, I am reliable and that you can trust me. I am exhausted. I do have to recharge my energy and my batteries, especially because I'm a workaholic and I spread myself too thin. I know that our connection, though, is a long journey, and I know that I don't have to get it right today, but I do plan and intend to try to get it right at some point. I just feel so depleted and I have so much fatigue. And a lot of this fatigue actually comes from feeling depressed, comes from being heartbroken and feeling shattered. So I need to repair that. I feel like my heart is damaged and destroyed and I want to heal that piece because what happens is all it does is it just replays all of these bittersweet memories that I have with you in ways that I feel like I can't really have you. And I dwell on this and I reminisce about this and I feel like I ruminate on this over and over. So that is something that's very tricky. So hopefully I can figure that out. I feel like when I hurt you that I also hurt myself deeply and I'm scared that maybe we're too broken to fix and I'm scared that I broke you and I broke you, uh, me and I broke us and I broke our connection. And I wonder, is this too broken? I know that time is ticking. I feel like I'm losing you as time goes on, yet I feel frozen in time. And I just keep getting the message. 
or I keep feeling like I need more time and I keep feeling like you've given me so much time and even that much time hasn't been long enough for me to be able to grow or figure things out or to work through my challenges. Music, sense, dreams, I feel it all. I still dream about you. I feel your energy. I feel your vibration. I feel you near me. On one hand, it makes me feel peaceful like lavender. On the other hand, I feel like it feels sad. The grass isn't greener. I thought I was making the right choice, but I was wrong. Things are not that great over here. So I know that I made the wrong decision. I was trying to plan a good future. Two of Wands energy. And Two of Wands energy. So that's tricky. I keep feeling undecided. I keep going back and forth. I never know what the right move is. I think of reaching out to you, but then I stop myself. I don't know if the timing is right, and that's why I hesitate with you because I feel like I always need to feel in charge and in control. Otherwise, I feel too weak and I feel too scared that things will not go in the way that I am orchestrating them. And that is too vulnerable for me. And I don't want to leave that much up to chance. I try to control situations so I don't come across as vulnerable as I feel. And finally, I am loyal to you. I am forever yours. I am so mad at making such a fool of myself. There is a burning rage inside of me, and I've made a fool of myself. I feel so foolish. I want to open up my heart to you, but I'm so afraid of opening up my heart again because I know that I am very innocent, but my heart is very fragile, and I'm scared to really let you in because I know that you have the power to crush me because I'm in love with you. So that is what I have for you, pile three. I hope that this has helped you. I hope this has helped you find some peace, maybe some validation that you are important to your person and confirmation about how your connection together is very powerful. So if this did not resonate with you, it probably did if you've gotten this far, but if it didn't, feel free to pick another pile or another video. And if you've liked this video, I'd love for you guys to like, comment, and subscribe. And again, if you want to know more about my friend Nonette's cards, feel free to check her out on Instagram, and I will see you next time. Happy Valentine's Day.